Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your iPhone to the latest iOS. So let's get started. We're gonna go into your settings. In your settings, you should see your second option, which is gonna say software update. If you don't see that, you can always scroll down. Go into general, from general, second option, software update. If you guys don't see anything popping up here, just turn on and off automatic updates. That should refresh things for you. So right now, if you guys don't see this, for example, it's okay. Now, if you're having a lot of issues, just hook it up to your computer and update it from there. Also create that backup, which is very important. Anyways, right now, what we're gonna do is take a look at the latest iOS. So that's down here below, it's gonna say also available. So depending which iPhone you guys have, maybe you can only go up to iOS 18.7. If you have a newer iPhone, then down here below, you should see this upgrade to iOS 26. So that said, even though if you guys don't see upgrade to iOS 26, go ahead and update to whatever you guys can. So if it's iOS 18.7 and that's all you see, make that update first and then later on go back here and take a look if you guys have and are able to upgrade to iOS 26. So right now we're just gonna skip to iOS 26 right away. So down here below, we're gonna update now. We're just gonna put in our passcode. And once you do that, these terms and conditions are gonna appear. Just tap on the left, well, right hand side on the bottom. It's gonna say agree, tap on agree again. You cannot do this without agreeing to this. Now, I usually tell you guys to always make a backup of your phone or even your tablet if you're doing this on your iPad before making the update. However, this update, although it's big, it's not that big. So if you wanna skip the backup, go ahead, but it's better to have a backup anyways of your whole phone. That said, make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. Even if you guys, let's say, have 80% of your battery, I would still hook it up and have it charging while this is happening. Now, first, it's gonna download the update and then it's gonna install it. At this point in time, you guys can just leave it, just let it be, have it charging, and then come back to it later on. All right, so let's say you guys waited a few minutes and still nothing's popping up. Just wait a few more minutes, but if nothing's popping up where it says about five minutes remaining or anything like that, like you're seeing on my screen right now, then and only then, fully turn off your iPhone, then turn it on again, do the exact same steps, and everything should be working. Obviously, make sure to have enough storage on your phone. I always say to have at least, at the very least, 15 gigs of free space on your phone for any update to happen properly. Because sometimes you have the minimum amount and then once it tries to install sometimes it gets stuck because it can't it has no more space so that's why I always have at least 15 gigs of free space or whatever amount of let's say this was a smaller update if the update was smaller always have double the amount that it tells you that it takes up so always focus on that but as of now like i mentioned before just let it be it's just going to turn off later on it's gonna turn back on, so resetting, and then it's gonna be done. This does not delete any of your information, by the way, making any of these updates. Everything should be fine once you get back to it. It's just gonna change a few things. You guys will see that there is a difference between this current iOS and the next one. All right, so during the whole installation, you guys should have seen an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then it would have just restarted. It would have done that twice, by the way, the Apple logo and loading bar, and then you would be done. You would see this screen. From this screen, just swipe up, put in your passcode, and then it's gonna tell you that you're pretty much done. So for me, I don't like automatic updates. So this is really up to you guys. You guys can change this later on, by the way. So you can put only download automatically or just continue on. For me, I'm gonna put only download. I'm probably gonna change that too later on. I don't even want it to download by itself. So right now it's gonna tell me that you're out, blah, blah, not now. And then right here, it's gonna tell you this beta thing. I'm not gonna choose notifications to summarize. I'm gonna put not now. I don't think they need to be summarized, honestly. So I'm gonna put not now on all of this. And it's beta. I don't like beta either. So right now, camera control. This is almost the same thing as before. I'm just gonna continue on. And then from here, we're gonna see this animation. We can only skip, we could skip this stuff, by the way, but I'm gonna press continue on all of this just because it does give you a quick glance into what's new. And I want to show you guys a little bit about what's new. Um, I think it's just mostly a new look than anything else, really. There's nothing 
that big about this. So we're just gonna get started and that's it. So you guys can see the apps are a little bit different looking. I personally think they're going backwards. That's that's just me. There's t these two new apps you guys will notice. But um, anyways, my personal <laughs> opinion, they're going backwards on this thing. Uh, this is looking old school rather than newer. And um, I might personally change a few things about this. But uh, anyways, we can always double check that everything went okay. Don't worry if everything's a little laggy at first, later on it's gonna be okay. So for me, remember I told you guys I'm gonna change this. I'm not gonna even let it download by itself. Um, system files automatically installed that, I'm gonna let it do. But anyways, I'm just gonna go back on it and that's it. You guys have officially updated to latest iOS. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.